Hello again, Jules fans. Welcome back to the latest episode of Jules in the Blood TV. It's Friday the 14th of May and at 10am this morning, the club published its end of season retain release list following conclusion of the 2021 campaign. Plenty on there that was not unexpected, but a few surprises as well. So I'm going to run through it section by section in terms of those that are still with us, those that are available for transfer, those that have unfortunately been released or decided to move on of their own accord. First up, I will start with uh, players returning to their parent clubs that were on loan for the second half of the season, and that is Robbie Cundy, Oliver Lee and Thomas O'Connor. Both, uh, sorry, all three of them played a really big part in the second half of the campaign where we threatened to gate crash the top six for a while, albeit coming up slightly short come the end of the season. Robbie Cundy, I know, still under contract at Bristol City. It'd be great if we could get him back in on another loan deal for the new season. I thought he was really good alongside Jack Tucker. Oliver Lee, Tommy O'Connor, both out of contract, I think, at their parent clubs, Hart of Midlothian and Southampton, respectively. So it would be interesting to see whether we pursue them on a more permanent basis. But for now, they have all returned to their parent clubs following their loan spells. The following four players have been released upon the expiration of their um, contracts with the football club and not been offered new terms. Um, three pretty much unexpected for me. That's Sasha Bastien, who came in in January on a short-term deal to cover Jack Bonham, our goalkeeper, after Joe Walsh had exited the club to go to QPR. So no real dramas with that one. We didn't see him play a minute of football. Tyreek Johnson. Massively underused for one reason or another after joining in January. Perhaps a little bit surprising in the sense that we got him initially in on a loan so that he could play against Burton, then changed it to a permanent. So you'd indicate you was looking at him as a more long-term prospect, but he barely featured up until the final day when he, he had a fairly decent 30-minute cameo against Plymouth in our 1-0 victory. Um, but Tyreek Johnson moves on as well. Matty Willock. Hindered by injuries, unfortunately, and then seems to have fallen out of favour in recent months, even if he has been fit. So again, that's not surprising. We've not seen enough of him over his two years at the football club. So we wish him well. The final one, a bit of a surprise. Um, if we're looking at it based on injury record and wages, I can understand it slightly. But I thought he was just running into form before he tore his hamstring. And that's Dominic Samuel. We've got six goals in 19 appearances prior to his injury in December was played slightly out of position at times as a wide attacker rather than a centre forward, which I think he is more naturally. So a little bit miffed that he's not been offered a new deal. Um, but if it means that he's on a big wage and we can get a couple in for the same amount of money, then it, it would make more financial sense. I do wonder, though, if he'll be allowed to train with us in the summer and try and earn, earn himself another contract. So that might be one to keep an eye on. But that's the four that have been released. Now to the harder bits, unfortunately those that we wanted to stay, but those that have decided to move on, um, contract offers were put in place for the trio of Jack Bonham, Connor Ogilvy and Jordan Graham. <coughs> Sadly, all three have decided to turn them down and look for pastures new. Jack Bonham, I think, has been very good for us over his two seasons at the club on the whole, especially in 1920. Played behind that really solid back four of Barry Fuller, Max Amar, Jack Tucker, and Connor Ogilvy. Kept plenty of clean sheets as, as we became very difficult to beat in that really long unbeaten run that stretched 15 league games. Not quite as consistent during 2021 for me, um, but still a very good keeper at this level. So, slightly disappointed that Jack's decided to move on, but we wish him all the best. There are a couple of bits going around on Twitter that um, he's apparently been quoted as saying he thinks he can step up to the championship. So it'd be interesting to see how that goes. Um, but yeah, we wish Jack all the best and he moves on. The second one, Connor Ogilvy, been absolutely immaculate for probably the best part of two and a half, three seasons now. Um, certainly been one of our best players under Steve Evans since he took over as manager. And um, whether it's at centre-back or left-back, He's proved to be one of the best in the division over the last two years. He's won goal of the season the last two seasons. He was player of the year in 2019-20. Um, and I hope he gets a move to the Championship now that he has decided to move on because his form over the last 24 months certainly deserves that. And the final one, Jordan Graham. A real disappointment in the sense that we've not really got to see him in the flesh, have we? We had him on a short-term loan deal at the back end of 1920 and he made a few appearances from the bench. But the real Jordan Graham, we've had to watch on a laptop or on a TV screen and... It is disappointing because we gave him a home. He'd been a bit nomadic over the last few seasons after his injury problems, but he's been really good and it is a short career and you have to look after yourselves at the end of the day and look after number one. 
And he's another one that I think can go and play in the championship and be very good at it as well. And he's 25, 26 now, so he needs to be making that move and making that step up for his own career. So that's the three that we have to reluctantly let go and uh, move on with our best wishes. Jack Bonham, Connor Ogilvy, and Jordan Graham. Now on to the better news, those that are staying and uh, will break with the news that Alex McDonald and Stuart O'Keefe have both signed new contracts this week. That was announced by Steve Evans in the article that came out with the retained list, so that's brilliant news for me. Both of them players absolutely brilliant in the second half of the season as we threaten to get in the playoffs for a while. Alex McDonald, probably the most improved player of the season for me, if you look at him in the first half of the campaign up until Christmas and then from New Year onwards. Really, really good. Works really hard out of possession. He's decent with it. Chipped in with a few assists. Only got one goal, but that was a really good goal at Sunderland at the Stadium of Light. So, fingers crossed he can kick on. And I think I said in my recent blog piece where I did a player ratings thing for every single player, I think every squad needs a Macca in it. His energy, his work rate's infectious and it sort of rubs off on other players. So great news that he's staying. Great news that Stuart O'Keefe's staying. We know what O'Keefe offers in terms of steel and bite in the middle of the park. Um, other players that are still under contract, Carl Dempsey, uh, Ryan Jackson, Robbie McKenzie, big for Dane Oliver, Jack Tucker, and then the three youngsters that tried to break through this season. That's Harvey Lintot, the young fullback. Gerald Sithole, uh, young forward, and Henry Woods, our centre midfielder. Um, and then we've got two more that are under contract but have been made available for transfer, which is Christian Magoma, who had a very stop-start season, unfortunately, and didn't feature enough at centre-half, and John Akindi, who I thought was very good throughout the last season that he played. Contributed directly to 18 goals with seven strikes and nine assists. But he's another one. He's the wrong side of 30, unfortunately. He's probably on a decent wage, um, I think he has got another year to run, but it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Obviously, he'll want to play first-team football now. So if, if a move comes out where he's guaranteed to be number one striker, whether that's in League One or League Two, then I'm sure John O'Kindy would jump at the chance. And if they both leave, we wish them all the best because, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's football, isn't it? Unfortunately, to sum up, at our level, our best players tend to leave to, to balance the finances to keep us uh, moving on a, on a sound footing financially. And obviously with everything that's happened over the last 12, 14 months with the COVID pandemic, it's more imperative that we, we balance the books and get some income coming into the football club. Right, that is enough from me today. That's my quick sum up of um, the retain list. So in terms of loan players that have gone back, I would love to see all of Robbie Cundy, Oliver Lee and Tom O'Connor return in some capacity. Uh, released Sasha Bastien, Tyreek Johnson, Dominic Samuel, Matty Willock. Offered new deals but deciding to move on are Jack Bonham, Jordan Graham and Connor Ogilvy. And those under contract to Carl Dempsey, Ryan Jackson, Alex McDonald, Robbie McKenzie, Stuart O'Keefe for Dane Oliver, Jack Tucker, Harvey Linter, Gerald Sintel, Henry Woods, John Akindi and Christian Magoma. But those last two are available to move on if the right offer comes in. Thanks as always for watching and listening to me. Please drop a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on the retain list. It'll be out on Twitter and on Facebook um, where you can get involved and have your thoughts on everything that's gone on today. Um, we'll try and bring out a video in the next few days. I've got the season review to do and then we'll start looking at potential transfer targets as more and more clubs uh, publish their retain release lists. But for now, enjoy your weekend. Um, it's the first one without the jewels for a while, so it's going to be uh, tricky. You'll have to find something to do. You might even have to talk to the other half. Um, but as I say, enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. And until next time, up the jewels.